Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is, a cryptography activity as an application of matrices. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials and please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. Cryptography, the science of encrypting and deciphering messages written in secret codes, a means of transforming data in a way that renders it unreadable by anyone except the intended recipient. It has played a vital role in securing information since ancient times. Julius Caesar employed what has become known as the Caesar Shift Cipher, when encoding messages to communicate with his generals, under this form of encryption technique, Caesar used a shift of three places, and so A is replaced by D, B is replaced by E, and so on. A cital is a tool used to perform a transposition cipher, consisting of a cylinder with a strip of parchment wound around it, on which a message is written. The ancient Greeks, and the Spartans in particular, are said to have used this cipher to communicate during military campaigns. The recipient uses a rod of the same diameter on which the parchment is wrapped to read the message. In modern history, the Nazis continued to use the presumably highly sophisticated Enigma machine to encrypt their messages when they communicated, still unaware that three Polish mathematicians had already cracked the unbreakable codes of the Enigma machine, and had provided the Allied forces with the means to gain access to their top secrets. More recently, with millions of financial transactions conducted over the Internet daily, cryptography has become more important than ever. Companies have begun to make online transactions more secure by installing encryption software to prevent sensitive information such as credit card numbers from falling into the wrong hands. There are several cryptographic techniques, and many make extensive use of mathematics to secure information. This video describes an activity built around one of the techniques that illustrates an application of matrices. We will use this activity to consolidate your learning of certain concepts of matrices, such as the algorithm for matrix multiplication, and the concept of the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. We start the activity by introducing a coding system. Each letter in the alphabet is matched with a number, as A is 1, B is 2, and so on. Characters such as space is coded as 27. Sending and receiving messages usually consist of five easy steps shown in this flow chart. Number 1, writing the message in plain text. Number 2, encryption process. Number 3, sending the cipher text. Number 4, decryption process. And number 5, reading the message in plain text. So, for example, our message in plain text is, send backup. For our encryption process, we will match each character with numbers from our coding system, which will look like this. S is 19, E is 5, N is 14, and so on. Next is to write this coded message as 2 by 3 matrices. The first three characters will form the first row, the next three will form the second row, the next three will form the third row, the next three will form the fourth row. And then, we will multiply this matrices to a key matrix, in the form of 2 by 2 matrix. A 2 by 2 matrix, multiplied to a 2 by 3 matrix is conformable. It will give a 2 by 3 matrix as a result. These resulting matrices will be our cipher texts. We have the first half and the second half of the cipher texts. In multiplication, we will get these matrices as the results. These cipher text will be sent to another student in the activity, don't forget to include the key matrix we used in the encryption. After exchanging the cipher text messages with another student, we now need to decrypt the cipher text we received, carefully. So now, in decryption, we need to use the key matrix that came along with the cipher text, and find its inverse. The inverse of the key matrix will be used to decrypt the cipher text from your classmate. After we get the inverse of the key matrix, we will multiply it with the cipher text. If done correctly, this will show the plain text of their message. As for us, we used the cipher text and led us back to the plain text message we started with, send backup. In doing this activity, remember to check if the key matrix you will use has an inverse. 
if the determinant of your key matrix is equal to zero, it has no inverse. You can only use a key matrix that has an inverse or else, your classmate will not be able to decrypt your cipher text. Also, the message you will send could be 16 characters, so that you can make two matrices, with the order of 2 by 4. If the number of characters in your message is 14 only, you can use space as character fillers. For example, the message you want is, bring the keys. This has 14 characters only. So, we fill in the last two elements as spaces. Which, in the coding system we used, is 27. I hope this video helped you learn about the cryptography activity, using a key matrix and its inverse in encryption and decryption. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Always remember, sharing is caring. Have a nice day. Hello.